Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part two of the lesson on differentiation using the chain rule. And in this video, I'm just going to go through four examples. Okay, so we established in the previous video, if you haven't watched it, you probably need to, um, that to differentiate using the chain rule, you power down one of the power and multiply by differentiated bracket. So for this first one here, where we have y equals 5x cubed plus 1 to the power of 6, uh, if I'm finding uh, dy by dx, I'm going to do power down. So I'm going to put 6 down the front. 5x cubed plus 1, that bracket is not going to change. The power is going to decrease by 1. And I'm going to multiply by the differentiated bracket, which is 15x squared. Uh, and that is going to give me, as my expression for dy dx, 90x squared, that's multiplying the 6 by 15, and then in brackets 5x cubed plus 1 to the power of 5, and that's job done, I do not need to expand out any of those brackets. Okay, number 2, uh, you'll notice that this is different, 1 over 6x squared plus 5 all squared, so the first thing that I need to do is I need to write it so it's a function to a power rather than as a fraction. Um, and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to write that y equals 6x squared plus 5 to the power of negative 2. And then when I differentiate, same thing's going to happen as, as happened over here. So power's coming down, so negative 2 in front. 6x squared plus 5, 1 off the power, so reduce the power by 1 to negative 3, be careful with that. Multiply by the differentiated bracket, and 6x squared would differentiate to 12x. Negative 2 times by 12, so that can be written as negative 24x, 6x squared plus 5, to the power of minus 3. Uh, which if you're being flashed, you could put it back into fraction form and you could say that that's the same as negative 24x over 6x squared plus 5 cubed. Either of those two forms is fine. I'll just do a little dot 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 so you can see that that's separate. Okay, so that's the second one where it starts as a fraction and you have to write it as a function to a power before you proceed with the chain rule. This one here looks very similar to um, the first one. You'll see the purpose of having this as a separate example in a minute. When I differentiate, dy by dx, power down. Now, 7 multiplied by the 3. Um, so I'm going to write it as 7 multiplied by 3. Uh, x to the 4 minus 5x to the power of 6, multiplied by the differentiated bracket. Now, hopefully you've seen the purpose of this example, because this bracket differentiates to two terms, because x to the power 4 differentiates to 4x cubed, and negative 5x differentiates to negative 5. And writing it like that is a really common mistake that causes big issues later on. This is all one thing, it's come from differentiating this bracket, and therefore you must have a bracket around those two terms. In terms of tidying this up, you don't need to get two flash. Let's write 21 instead of seven times three. And then general convention for maths is if you've got brackets with powers is to write them in ascending powers order. So smallest power first and then going up. So I'm going to start with 4x cubed minus 5. And then after that, I'm going to write x to the power of 4 minus 5x, all to the power of 6. And that is my expression for dy dx in number 3. Uh, finally, number 4, similar to this one in that we don't have it as a function to a power, we have a fraction. So we've got to deal with that first. We've got to be very, very careful with that 8. Now, that 8, when we put this into function to a power form, that 8 belongs at the front. Uh, it's going to then be 5x squared plus 7 to the power of 
negative a half. So square root is power half, when it comes up, it's negative. So when we differentiate this, again, we bring the power down. So negative a half times by eight, bracket stays the same, five x squared to the power of seven. Reduce the power by one, take your time, negative a half, down by one, is negative three over two. And then multiply by the differentiated bracket, 5x squared plus 7 differentiates to 10x. Um, and let's just tidy this up a little bit. Negative a half times 4 uh, times 8, sorry, is negative 4. There you go, see I'm getting ahead of myself. Negative a half times 8 is negative 4. Times by 10 is negative 40x. And then we have 5x squared plus 7 to the power of negative 3 over 2 which you could write back as a fraction if you wish to, but I think actually it's neater looking like that for now. Um, otherwise you have roots and cubes all over the place, it just starts to look a bit messy. But there you go, power down, one off the power, multiplied by the differentiated bracket. The most important point probably on this board is if that differentiated bracket has two terms, make sure you get a bracket around it. Thanks for your company.